hi guys my name is Cynthia Kayo and thank you so much for clicking onto this video thank you for tuning in and if you are new to this channel welcome and please before you go on hit that subscribe button I'll really appreciate and if the video will also interest you be sure to leave a like and you can also share to someone who it can impact so today I'll be talking about some of the things or principles that I personally use or follow to get through my 20s. Currently, I'm 22 years old and I'll be turning 23 in November. Yeah, so let's get started. I have them written here so that I do not blabber so much about outside of the topic. So let's get to point number one. So the first thing is... Mm -hmm. It is okay not to know tomorrow. I believe there is a reason why we cannot foresee the future even if you go to like those people who read cards, even if you go to people who claim to be prophets, they cannot tell you exactly like if, let me say for example, if you will wake up tomorrow with a headache you do not know. If you find that house that you always wanted if you build that life you always wanted you do not know because we need to understand that our plans will not always be executed let me say your plans for life will not always come out as you expect them you will take turns which may be better which may be worse but you do not know and you should rest in peace <laughs> okay, that sounds like someone is there. Like, be at peace knowing that you do not know the future, but it will turn out the way it is supposed to turn out. Number two, role models. We all have our own role models for, let me say, for life, a life you want to live, a lifestyle you want to live, cars you want to have, a family you want to have, a spiritual life you want to have clothing you know you should know that there is no one person who will be perfect let me say perfect for you to follow you may find that someone really influences how you look at life how how like they influence your attitude towards life but they also have the downsides they also have the failures and it is okay to just copy that one one part of their life and leave the rest like just take the positive part the the part that you want to follow and follow it because you cannot want to live a replica of someone's life because it will not always turn out the way you expect yeah no one is perfect so don't look at someone expecting perfection expect them to fail sometimes expect them expect them to like you know lose expect them to have some crying moments sometimes they will be like those outspoken person but you should realize that they also have sometimes when they are stressed depressed and it is okay so find someone who influences you in like have different role models for different perspectives of life are they called perspectives like let me say if i want um fashion influencer there is this girl i love so much she's called Hailey 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 Odor yeah i love her i follow her on instagram she's an influencer yeah if i love her fashion then i follow her fashion i know nothing about her social life i know nothing about her love life when it comes to love life you have someone else who you like really adore you really love how the social life is uh, not social life but relationship is it the same thing yeah like let me say for example the joyride i watch the joyride podcast and it's very good i love how the marriages i love how close how friendly they are but you know they also don't show those things most of them on camera but you know that is a relationship that i admire i love other you know like you will have another person who you really look after you you look oh my god you look at their spiritual life and you want to be at that level okay you know they will not influence all the aspects of their life and you know you don't want to be a, a replica of someone so find different people 
who influence you in different perspectives of life okay yeah there is something oh okay and i wanted also to mention <clears throat> I would advise that if you are a lady find female okay it may not apply but I feel like it is a better option if you are a female find a female find female role models if you are a man find male role models that will help you to know the different struggles because you know our genders are not the same they are not the same. The struggles men go through are not the same ones women go through. So if you are a female, find a female role models because they will also also show you the different side of the struggles. And f before we go on, like on the same topic, find someone who is authentic. Authentic. They show you the downsides and the upsides, not just someone who shows you the results. They don't show you the process. Like someone always bragging about the body but they don't show you what exercises they use you need to find someone who is authentic to show you the struggle they go through the process they go through to make it to where they currently are also asia is also a good example because basically we saw asia the other day coming into the limelight a very young girl very small and we have seen how she has worked to wherever she is there are people who work that is her work like you may say okay yeah if you if you know the life of Asia do you know she hosts a radio show she wakes up early in the morning to go to host the radio show and that is how people like get the money because you will not just be the um, you know not someone L let me say on that point let me say for example the one i've said for us and she will show you she has to be at the radio show at 6 a.m not someone else will not show you they are waking up before six to go to job they will just show you the photos after they don't tell you you know this is what i'm doing and you know now you are seeing the success you don't know the struggle the process you know another person is mkurugenzi if you don't watch mkurugenzi guys what are you doing Unafanya nini? And <laughs> another thing is always try your best in whatever you do no never never give up don't give up i personally have my own struggles i do try a lot of things i do try a lot of things i lose money you know just trying what what is it that will pay what is it that will come through because you you never know at the end of the day you never know what will actually work out for you so just do your best do not give up do not be discouraged in everything you do just do it to the best of your your ability you know but also don't kill yourself just try your best but you know yeah Another thing is uh, taking risk. As I have said, I have lost money. He Nairobi, he, you can lose money, bro. But ultimately, yeah, there are those people who are there to to take your money for you know his call. There are those people who are there to help you. So you will never know what was supposed to work if you don't take the risk. If you want to do something, do it. <laughs> that's all you know just just follow it try things because if you're afraid to take risk girl men <laughs> you will never go anywhere so yeah take those risks even if it means you know you doing things you never thought you could do just take the risk and you never know which you will pay okay yeah <clears throat> another thing is um acknowledge that you're not perfect it is okay to make mistakes it is okay to lose it is okay to lose that money you know you're investing you're not a pro and uh you know things some things will work out some will not so don't go beating yourself telling yourself you're not this good you know you, instead you could have done this instead you, because there are things which are there to like teach you and there are things which are there to put you up you know Sometimes you lose and that is a learning moment. Take out the positive from the failures and 
work with it towards the next one if you have lost money in this kind of investment it will <clears throat> enable you to learn that this kind of investment i need to do certain research before i do any investments in this kind of thing you know it is con this kind of like you know you will never have that experience if you are not losing so you are not perfect mistakes you made long time ago or even yesterday do not define who you are do not define what your tomorrow will be so do not be afraid to take those risk risks one of them will pay one day believe it claim it and then uh, the last point that i have here is seeking help as i have said you are not perfect and there are people who are there to mentor you there are very good people in the world who are there to mentor you to help you through to help you to learn things you know so always seek help seek help with a project you're starting seek help with an investment you want to go into seek help with uh, your mental health if you're not feeling well you know seek help that is why we have friends if your relationship is not working you are worried talk to someone your bestie yeah talk to them because you know sometimes you, you may assume you don't really need their help or advice and in the end it is that one thing that you really 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 needed yeah so do not be afraid to talk to people talk about yourself yeah even and mostly you find people who are really outspoken are the one who really die inside please people how what when you are the what is it called the light of the party or what those people really have issues someone will be like dying inside the heart is really on fire and then they are there you expect them you expect them to make you laugh you expect them to you know do all that kind of stuff for you and yet they are really struggling so please watch out for your friends too yeah and we'll be good together that is why we exist they say no man is an island so that is why we exist as communities as societies as families and friends yeah so do that and i hope it will also help you another thing before i finish is self-acceptance you know things that you that ab especially about your body you know things that you really struggle with you know things that are like you know your insecurities work on them if they cannot be solved then just settle on the on the what is it called Settle, settle on it like basically just accept it and you know move on because at the end of the day you only have this one life and if you will finish this one life beating yourself then what good was it you know like you're here l let me say let me say w what example should i use let me say you have a, a chronic illness and you are not even sure you know no one is sure but there are some high risk people so you are not even sure to how old you will make it and then you sit there saying i will not work let me say for example you have a chronic illness and you don't know like you are so thinking about how long will i live how long do i have you know and you are saying to yourself i will not work i will not do any self-improvement because basically I'm not going to live that long and then you end you end up living up to 80 years old and then you'll be looking back and saying I wish I did this I wish I did this you know so please don't even if you, you even if your doctor tells you you will die six months from now don't let it like put you down at the end of the day even those people who are not like having any chronic illnesses may get into accidents you know but yeah, so just don't hold yourself down, don't hold your potential, don't kill your potential. Work on it and, you know, it will pay out. And I hope this thing has been recording because, bro, I'm using the back camera and if it has not, 
I'm doomed. Otherwise, thank you. Thank you for watching. And I love you guys. Before you go, kindly subscribe. Support me, please. I love you. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. You know. And also comment some of the tips that you use. Guys, let's help each other. I love you. Bye.